Now, here's meteorologist Michelle Muscatello with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. If you have plans this afternoon, definitely going to need to keep an eye on the weather as we take a look at our live Doppler radar this morning. We have had over the morning hours now heading into the afternoon, some scattered showers and thunderstorms. In fact, some of the areas that got some of the heaviest rainfall totals, places like Norwood Mass, over five inches of rain have been seeing some of these downpours and thunderstorms. Now this is pushing over the Sharon area and we can see another developing heavier downpour right over, say, uh, Foster. And and that's going to be pushing to the south and east too. So in Providence, the raindrops starting to arrive, though the risk of thunder in Providence has dropped off. Uh, Taunton by about one o'clock in the afternoon and Warwick by about one. You're expecting to see some of these showers and storms that they're experiencing right now in North Situate. Well, the threat tracker elevated not just today, but tomorrow and Wednesday as well. Each day with the risk of these pop up showers and thunderstorms. Obviously, we're seeing some sunshine in between them, but you will have to watch as they come through for heavy rain that could lead to localized flooding. There's potential for hail within any thunderstorms and obviously some dangerous lightning. The temperatures upper 70s to lower 80s where the sun is out. You get some of that rain cooled air, but the temperatures will rebound as the uh, the sun comes back out in northern Rhode Island. Do point are running very high. These numbers help to identify how much moisture is in the atmosphere. The higher the number, the more moisture those storms have to work with. And so that is why we are prone to these downpours. You can see the high humidity right into Thursday night before those dew points drop heading into Friday. So here's the setup at the surface area of low pressure hanging around, but it's what's happening in the upper levels of the atmosphere that's helping to uh, tell us what's going to be happening this week with our weather. And it's an upper level storm system that counterclockwise flow representing a cold pool of air aloft. You get that this time of year it creates a lot of instability when you get the heat and the humidity, even a little sunshine at the surface. And so plan on these pop up showers and storms to continue through the afternoon. Back starting to work their way to the coastline as the afternoon goes on and this evening, especially early in the evening, some additional showers and thunderstorms a possibility. Once we head past sunset, these will tend to lose a lot of their punch and I don't expect the rain to continue continue to be widespread overnight, but there could be an isolated shower at the beaches. Mainly cloudy skies this afternoon. A couple of showers and a thunderstorm passing through on to watch for some lightning and thunder. If you're out on the bay, high tides 330 this afternoon winds today from the north about five to 10 knots. We're going to keep that northerly wind overnight tonight and into tomorrow too with patchy fog and an isolated shower or thunderstorm, much like what we're seeing today. Our rain chances tomorrow will peak in the afternoon hours through the early evening. And it's not a washout any of these days, but days where you need a backup plan if you're outside with activities. Upper 70s for today, mid 70s for your highs tomorrow. Mixture of clouds and sun again and running a little cooler than normal. Our temperatures start to warm back up by Thursday and Friday of this week, and the rain chances will be going back down. So the early call for the 4th of July weekend is for mainly dry conditions. Independence Day highs in the lower 80s and upper 70s with a little fog possible in the morning as a humidity starts to climb again. There could be an isolated shower Saturday night. We'll keep you updated on a full forecast on the pinpoint weather 12 app.